If you would like to preserve the work you've done in your ePortfolio, there is a way to export its contents and import it into a website that looks exactly and acts exactly like the My Courses ePortfolio. This will allow you to continually update your ePortfolio throughout your career. So this is either a two or three step process depending on whether you've completed step two yet. So in step one, we're going to export your ePortfolio to a zip file. So in My Courses, go to the Reports tab on the nav bar, click on ePortfolio. Take you to your ePortfolio, click on My Items, click on the More Actions button, click on Go to Import Export Page. Click on the Export button. Now you have two choices here. You can choose to export all items or selected items. In most cases you'll be choosing all items. Um, if you choose selected items, what you have to do there is click on Add Items and checkbox the items you want or the checkboxes you want and click Add. In my particular case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose All Items because that's normally what you're going to want. Then, after you've done either or of those, you click the Export button and then you click Done. This is going to take you to the uh, Import Export page and what you're going to do is click on the link um, to the zip file. This is going to ask you to save the file. Do not open it. It's going to save it someplace onto your computer. Make sure you know where you're saving that file so that you'll be able to retrieve it easily. And that's the end of step one. Now step two is to create what's called an edge identity account. Now you should note that this is a one-time step. If you've already created an edge identity account, please skip this step and go on to step three. I'm going to take you through the process if you haven't. You're going to go to the URL that's in the written tutorial, and I'm not going to go through it, but it's right up here. You're going to click the checkbox next to the I am 13 years old, and you're going to click accept. You're going to go ahead and fill out the information here, and you're going to give yourself uh, a password and a confirmed password. The account um, login is going to be your email address. Now, it does not have to be the SPC address, nor does the password have to be an SPC address. And then what you're going to do is create the account. That's step two. Step three is to import your ePortfolio into a site called MyDesireToLearn.com. You're going to go to www.MyDesire Dot com. You're going to enter and log in with your Edge Identity account. And you're going to go ahead and click on the Login button. You're going to click My Items. You're going to click More Actions. You're going to go to the Import Export page. You're now going to click import. You're going to go ahead and browse. You're going to find that file that you had saved. You're going to double click on it and click on open. You're going to click next. It will give you a list of what you, what's going to get imported and you'll notice you can X out of some things if you don't want them imported. I'm going to go ahead and click the import button. I'll click done. It'll tell me it's, be, it's queued. I can click on My Items to go and see that everything has been imported into the DesireToLearn.com portfolio. You now can come in here anytime you want, and you can add anything you want, change it any way you want, just like you did in My Courses.